The man charged with six counts of first-degree murder after a mass killing in an Ottawa suburb last week appeared in court today. The 19-year-old is accused of killing a mother, her four young children, along with a family friend, plus attempting to kill the children's father. Mackenzie Gray is outside the courthouse in Ottawa. Mackenzie. Don, it was a quick phone appearance here at the Ottawa courthouse for the alleged mass murderer. Fabrio de Souza has been in custody since his arrest on March 6th and will stay there until at least the 28th, with both the Crown and his lawyers agreeing to adjourn his case without entering a plea or having a bail hearing. I, I've met it, him over video and in person, yes. And, and do you have from that meeting any sense of what may have happened? I can't comment on that, I'm so sorry. That's the accused lawyer who said de Souza is in protective custody, but shared little other information with reporters including if he plans to ask for a mental health assessment of his client. By the nature of the case, it seems to me that we're going to be looking at some pretty significant psychiatric evaluations, and that's where the complexity is going to lie. It's going to take months and months before we even get to the point where we're moving into a trial situation. De Souza allegedly killed six people he lived with. A funeral for the victims now scheduled for Sunday in Ottawa, including four kids, the youngest two months old, along with their mother. The husband and father, Danushka Vikramasinghe, survived an alleged attack from de Souza, who he met while studying at Algonquin College in Ottawa. A source close to Vikramasinghe says he was released from hospital today, still recovering from serious injuries to his face and hands from what police describe as a knife-like attack. The motive for de Souza's alleged crimes, still unknown. They will interview uh, the father, they will interview the suspect, they will interview uh, neighbors and they will also interview anybody else who may have information that will uh, contribute to understanding the motive. The Crown had to resubmit the charges today after making multiple spelling errors on the victim's names. The second major mistake authorities have made on the case, Donna, after the police chief originally said the murders were a mass shooting. Okay, Mackenzie Gray in Ottawa, thank you.